So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to today's video. Uh, we are officially back for a little bit. I will return properly next week. That's when we'll get the content flowing. Um, I, I've had a, a couple of rough months, um, those of you that don't know. I'm basically, uh, well, in the midst of getting a divorce right now. So I am going to be living single life once again. Me and the missus just kind of split up. It was a, a decision that we, we spoke about and I'm still friends with her. We're still best friends. We're just... Just the relationship isn't there anymore. So that's kind of what's happened. Um, didn't want to even talk about it really. Didn't really want to discuss it. But that's what's happened. So it's forced me into having to get my own place. She's bought her own place. Um, I haven't been able to buy my own place. So I'm renting an apartment now. And I'll start saving pretty much. So that's what's happened. And that's why I've been absent for the last week or so. But we will return next week officially. Uh, and then the content will be flowing. I hope to do a lot more streaming, some masterly streaming to get that going. Me being on my own now, I'm going to have a lot more free time to do so. So this is the version. This is the data bag, as you can see, 1.08. It did come out a couple of days ago. Um, quite a quite, I don't know, random, to be honest. I don't think anyone was expecting it. I wasn't, and I haven't played Pez in over a week. So it's going to be interesting to see what changes there are, if there are any, for gameplay. But what I will do is show you guys a couple of faces that have been added. We've got a few from the national teams, the Premier League, the Skybet. I think there's only one. Um, but let me quickly just show you yeah, some of the Premier League players that have been updated. So from Sheffield United, there are, I think, about two... Uh, McGoldridge up top uh, let's find him right here so he's got a new face as you can see looks the part looks the part no uh, problems with that one and uh, we've got McBurney as well he has got a face and, and I really wish you could use these beards because to be fair you know he actually looks looks decent um, yeah I was gonna see if I could rotate him but I don't know which one is rotate is it this one yeah there we go so if you kind of look at the beard, I mean, I really wish these are the beards they're going to have to just add and let you add them to the game, because why not? They can't be that difficult. And they can certainly improve the beards even more, give them a, a little bit more of a 3D look. But there's two from Sheffield United. Newcastle also had a couple of new additions, uh, Dubravka being one of them. So there he is, looking the part. And uh, we also had craft down here i believe there he is the right back got a bit of a face as well it looks a bit plasticky though for some reason but yeah he got a a bit of a makeover and then pretty much there was two left we had norwich city with aarons so the right back here got a makeover there he is and then the other one was bournemouth memphis is that how you say his name where are your son Menfam, there he is. So he got a face as well. I don't know, you know, how they pick the faces. You know, I don't really know because obviously these boys don't have one. But I don't know. I really don't know how Konami choose which faces go to which players. Let me quickly show a couple of others uh, and then we'll dive into some gameplay. So Rodriguez from Real Batiste also got a face. I just realized I'm also running Cider with this. So I don't know if these are officially the right faces because the cider patch may have overwritten some of them. Because let me show you this guy who apparently got a new face. Look at that. That's ridiculous. Why is his head so big? Quite comical, but uh, I don't know if that's legit or it's from cider. Either way, he did get a facelift. Likewise did Rodriguez. So those two from Real Batiste um, got added as well. And you also had uh, from Athletic Club, uh, Simon, 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 however you want to say his name. But yeah, he looks like his face certainly got uh, a bit of an upgrade. So it's just those. There's more. I'm going to leave the link in the description if you want to see the list. It wasn't a whole lot of faces, about 50 odd. Um, but I'm not going to go through them all. So anyway, let's dive into some gameplay now. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the formation screen in just a second. Okay, so we're going to play some uh, Manchester United Chelsea. Why not? I'm going to play United because I support United. We're going to play the same lineup that took on uh, Sheffield United the other day. They look pretty good as well. And I am quite excited to see the prospect of, of United's midfield and, and forwards certainly linking up. I think starting Greenwood was definitely the, uh, the right decision. Dan, you know, Dan James is just not happening for him. I feel kind of bad for him, but I just feel like maybe he needs to go on loan. He's just not good enough right now to play for Man United. Works his socks off, don't get me wrong. He just makes a lot of wrong decisions. Uh, Matic was pretty solid in the hole, and then you got Pogba and Bruno. I mean, they, 
you know, they, they will link up well, them two. Bruno is just a difference maker. He can really pick teams apart. Uh, and obviously Chelsea being close to us, we want to try and close the gap. So we'll play this. Um, we'll give it a shot. We'll put it to about uh, a 12-minute match. I'm just going to play one match, get a feel for it, see if there's any real differences. I know you can't do a whole lot in one game, but the time's limited for me right now, and I just want to at least test it out and see if it feels good in the hand. So without further ado, let's dive into the gameplay. Let me know your thoughts, of course, as well below. And here we go. Okay, so let's give this a bit of a feel. Now, we are playing on Superstar, as I said. Reason of being is I just don't feel like Legend's worth diving into uh, i think most people will play on superstar more than legend um, and we are playing exhibition i know that Marsley can obviously be slightly different here we go this is the first chance here for paul pogs but yeah i do know that well, that's clearly not been fixed players are still doing some dumb stuff wan Saka trying to turn inside out now i have changed everything to make sure we are playing on standard gameplay there's no mods being used here the dt file is the original file so, yeah, that's uh, the plan. Anyway, here's a chance for uh, Marcus Rashford. And I'll have a couple of, you know... Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> well, that sums it up, doesn't it? Are you having a laugh? This is the first game I've played. And that's what we've got. That's Banterville, to be honest. I, I don't know what's happened there. Let's have another look at this. I mean, I thought I'd just have a go from distance. Comes off the defender. And that's just Tweedledee and Tweedledum right there, isn't it? So, uh, promising start. That just shouldn't happen, though, should it? I mean, come on. Number one, the goalie in a real match would have a shout there. And he'd say, look, this is Kepa's ball. Or Aditha Blather, whatever you want to call him. That should be his ball. I don't know what on earth the defender's playing at. So, fantastic start to the game. Six minutes gone. And uh, I've never seen an own goal like that. I've played this game since launch, and I've never seen an own goal like that. So not particularly a great start. You know, there, there was no mention of any gameplay tweaks in the notes, but then again, Konami never do that. But my, oh my, what a, what a shocker that is. Anyway, let's see what we can do here. Chance for Anthony Martial, who's certainly come alive after that Sheffield United game. Clinical as ever. Unfortunately, Marcus Rashford's still trying to settle into uh, a routine, which is understandable. I mean, look, the lads have been off a while, and it's no surprise that players are going to be rusty. I think he was just more uh, infuriated than anything else. Well done, Nemanja Matic. Who I, I still think Matic has got something to give, because he is a very good player at just sitting as a DMF. All right, well done, Rashford. Feeds it up the line. It's Martial. Chelsea getting carved wide open here. But Kepa comes out quickly. Good bit of defending, though, to deny the strike by the Frenchman. But, yeah, look forward to my live streams. I am going to be live streaming Master League. That's right. Live streaming Master League. We'll sit down for a couple of hours, get some games going, and I just plan to just plow through it. What with, you know, unfortunate circumstances. But life goes on. Life does go on. And at the moment, Chelsea again, uh, well, completely overrun. Look at the old manual strike. Saved by Kepa. I mean, I will say the responsiveness has improved since launch. I would give Konami that much. I do feel like the players are, I, think, I would say, switching-wise. Not necessarily, you know, responding to the ball, because we've, we've seen iffy moments. But I'm talking about when it actually comes to sort of player switching. Oh, this is a good move here by Chelsea. Deflection and David De Gea, who has been up and down De Gea, hasn't he? And you know, I think a player, you know, a goalie of his calibre shouldn't be making the mistakes that he's been making. OK, why has Juan Bissaka just walked off the field there? I'm going to bring that back, actually. I, I didn't ask him to do this, by the way, so let's just go to him. So here he is. Gets the ball down. Comes off the defender. Now, Lindelof wins it. Fair enough. wan then decides, I'm going to run off the field. Um, and, and call for the ball, by the way. Right there. That, that doesn't make any logical sense again. So, 
Ah, we well, are yeah, a bit silly right now, isn't it? We've had uh, 23 minutes gone, and that AI deciding to do things on their own. Not a good start, not a good start. You know, these are fundamental things, should just be addressed. Greenwood beaten to the ball, Kovacic. Well, that's a good looking ball up the line towards Jeru. The ball's being laid back, and there's the equaliser. Poor, poor defending. Typical Manchester United. But uh, Kante gets on the score sheet. It is one apiece. The fans celebrate. You will see the odd fat guy lurking around. But yeah, I didn't defend well here. And then once the ball get fed up the line, watch Maguire. He just... Yeah, he, it's the typical running the wrong way. Or well, not Maguire, maybe it was Matic. But uh, either way, it's 1-1. At least we've had some goals. I guess that's good. We could have a chance here. Unlucky by uh, Martial. I mean, I'm going to play quite attacking, so if we concede, we concede. I think the best way to test these out is to just play very advanced, get that AI forward, and see if they have the brain to figure out a lot of the scenarios. Here's Bruno. Finding Matic. Luke Shaw. Let's swing that back round to Lindelof. I'm also playing attacking fullback, so that's why you can see Wamba Saka's gone for a, a walkabout. Back to Pogba. Feeds it off. Greenwood, little touch behind. Comes back to Bruno! Unlucky. Oh, Good effort, son. So, half an hour played. One apiece. Chelsea have really had the only one shot in the game. Let's do a little bit of a, a run through the legs. See what the AI do. All right, fair enough. I think one of the major things they still need to address is when you make a player do an automatic run and the defender will just stay with him and not really use his brain on, you know, which scenario to do. Does he go to the ball? Does he not? Most of the time, he just runs off. So if I let Rashford make the run there... Okay, Luke Shaw, what are you doing? The defender will just stay with him now. He won't actually stop. He'll stop now because Rashford's gone offside, but... There's just a little bit too much room. Go on, Fernandez. Oh, my days. That's ridiculous, to be honest. Straight behind the board. What a finish. What a goal. The Portuguese man. Well, silencing the away fans, it looks like. Well, have a look at this. Not great defending. Gave me too much room, but still, that is world class. And Aretha Balaga had no chance there. A little bit off his line too. One touch, two touch, top corner, off the bar. So we've got some goals for you. Which I've got no problems with. I love matches with goals. Of course we do. There's nothing more infuriating than creating chance after chance. And never putting the ball in the back of the net. All right, Wamba Saka make some uh, make uh, make a decision here. What do we do? We'll stay with uh, Marcus Alonso. See if we can hold him up. Lays it back. Mount looks to switch it round. Matic with half a head onto it. It's a good challenge. Close down Kovacic. Cheeky little flick. Willian. That's Bilaqueta. They're working it well here, Chelsea. Pogba was daydreaming slightly. Little deflection, and we'll bring David De Gea out. Now, quickly, go, go, go. This is where we'll just get the goalie, and we'll say, go on, De Gea, off you go, mate. Ooh, that was a little bit shocky. Shocky risky. Wamba Saka. That's not a good pass at all. Nice turn by Jeru. Gives it back. He's going to feed him up the line now. Watch Jeru's run through the middle. Loftus Creek. Creek. Loftus Cheek. Argy bargy between two players. Well done, Pogba. And we're just going to smash this away. The referee's going to blow for half time. So we've seen some silly things in that opening 45 minutes. Also seen a beautiful goal, but yeah, those things shouldn't happen. So second half, two goals to one as Pedro comes on. And I believe Pedro's heading to Porto at the end of the season. So he's not going to be staying at Chelsea. He's a decent player, Pedro. And he's got two good feet. Certainly scored some good goals while he's been at Stamford Bridge. Fernandez, what have you got, son? What have you got? A little bit of trickery here. Let's see if we can turn Kante inside out. No, Kante's too strong for us. 
Jeru. I don't like Jeru in this game. He really is annoying. Oh, lovely turn there by Willian. Kovacic, nice little turn by him, but he's lost it. Now this is a chance for Marcus to stretch the legs. Feed that out wide. Wan-Bissaka back to Pogba. Have we got Pogs? Rashford back to Pogba. Lovely turn, gets it on the right foot. Stinging the palms of Kepa. Well, not really stinging them, but just warming them up. But yeah, let me know your thoughts below if you have played Data Pack 8, especially online. I think online's a big one. See, the majority probably do play online, and uh, yeah, you just don't want to see those things at the beginning of this match. It was a very dumb moment by that AI. It's common sense. The goalie all day would have that. There was no challenge on him, there was no pressure. It was a very simple, simple collection for Kepa, but I don't know, the defender had other ideas. Right, wan -Bissaka. Greenwood. Now this could be a chance, flicks it off, Luke Shaw. Back inside, Rashford, just feeding it off, Bruno lays it back. It's going to be Pogba this time. Get enough players forward. It's a, a very lively game. So another early change from Chelsea. Jeru off. And Abraham's come on. And I will make some changes afterwards, but we'll give it, you know, maybe another 10 minutes. Alonso. Maguire should win that. Does so. Comes back to Kante. You'd expect him to hit it. Decides against it. Willian lays it off. That's where the AI really, though, just hit it. Have a shot. Shoot from distance. Most players would. All right, now Greenwood, oh, I was going to lay Greenwood in there, but he just stopped the run. Now Abraham. Well done, Matic. Maguire. Still need to see a little bit more from Harry Maguire. I mean, you know, I was very disappointed with the amount of pace that he has, which is literally nothing. And if you're not going to have pace, then guess what? You've got to make sure you're goal side to your man. Because of just one little turn, and suddenly it's game over. They're in on goal. And the problems are going to arise. Well done, Matic. Like I said, I like Matic. I don't know. There's something about this guy. He can do the business. And we might as well hit this. And he's also got a ferocious strike on him. But he just gives United that... Just that extra, extra element, doesn't it? Of cover at the back. And then you've got Pogba just freeing some space up. Likewise, you've got Bruno pulling the strings. And that's going to be comfortable. Let's make a change now. So, yeah, just looking at the formation screen here, I'm playing attacking fullbacks. And as you can see, wan and Luke Shaw both absolutely gassed. So, yeah, I don't know if it's wise to play attacking fullbacks because it's just killing, uh, killing my stamina. So, yeah, let's turn that off. But certainly that you've got to take that into account. But we will bring Agallo on as well for Greenwood. We'll put Marcio out wide. And we'll see how this plays out now for the, uh, the final 20 minutes. I know they have five substitutes now in the Premier League and a couple of other European leagues. What with uh, the situation changing. Well done, Williams. Now Pogba. Fernandez. Yeah, um, okay. I'm going to have a look at that one again there. And I'm going to bring it back if I see silly stuff like this because I don't know what happened here. And it's stuff like this that's annoying. You know, I've got no control over this. I've fizzed this one into Bruno, who, who's turned. He's, he's seen the ball. He's got a good, you know, a 12 foot there to, to get the ball under, under control. And he's, he hasn't even tried. It's just come off his back foot. So, you know, it's stuff like that. Konami, come on, let's fix it because it's just... Mental. This game is how old? And we're still having problems like that. Shouldn't happen. And it's not nitpicking. It's game, you know, it's game breaking. It really is. Because it ruins the flow. I've just lost a perfectly good counter attack there. There you are. Lovely turn, Martial. Now fizz that one in. Igalo! Lucky. But yeah, I lost a perfectly good counter attack. Because the AI doesn't want to use... Uh, the smart part of their brain. Well done, Pogba. Yeah, I was going to cut inside, but we've lost it. Kante wins it back. Lays it up the line. Abraham to Pedro. First time ball. Maguire wants the offside. That's certainly not going to happen. And let's let that roll out of play. And uh, another change. Jorginho coming on. 
Just pass to Rashford. Come on, Rashford. That's Pelaqueta. Side to Jorginho. Swinging it round to Marcus Alonso. Well done, Pogba. Nothing wrong with that at all. Well, that's a good challenge. But I like the way Pogba got straight back up there. To feed this one quickly. Igalo could be in. Oh, Kepa. Just about got there in time. I wish you could just sort of uh, stand in front of the goalie and maybe, just maybe, get a little nick off of him. I know you used to be able to do that on FIFA, and to be fair, some of the goals you used to be able to score were extremely cheap, but... Hey, that's physics for you. If it comes off to the, the, uh, the forward, it comes off the forward. All right, final seven minutes. It's a shaky ball. I don't know what that is for a pass. It's an absolute horrendous place to give it away. It's Anthony Martial, and the challenge was just enough to put him off. Terrible switch here. What is that for a pass? Once again, honestly, this is my first time playing Data Pack 8. Not impressed with this. I mean, I was impressed with Bruno Fernandes' goal, but AI-wise, I have not been impressed. All right, Fernandes looking tired. Start again here with Matic. Williams. Rashford. Williams. Ah, I would like to get a free kick, but that's just... That's just the test if you can still score every single one, and I'm sure you can. Here's a chance for William. Okay, fair enough. I mean, Lind uh, Lindelof was coming across. He decided to hit it early. Choice was his. Garlo should win it. Well done. Well, if United... Uh, what is that, Pogba? That's my fault. Don't worry about that. That's not the game. That was just me being silly. All right, Dallow. Players in the middle. Yeah, I don't know why Bruno let that run. I don't know. I've seen some very, very sketchy things here. Let me know your thoughts below if you have played with this data pack. But as I said, I've... You've seen it. You guys have been watching the video. Some very, very comical things have happened. Not too many fouls being given as well. But there's the full-time whistle. So two goals to one. All the goals happening in the first half. But yeah, let me know your thoughts below. My impressions, not that great. Too many silly things. One Basaka running off the field. Uh, one of the worst own goals you'll probably ever see. And yeah, just on a whole... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what Konami do with some of these data packs. But, you know, the gameplay is just all over the place at times but anyway i hope you guys did enjoy it as always we will return next week with uh, the proper amount of footage we'll dive right back into marsley continue that uh, but yeah let me know your thoughts below we'll return shortly until next time be safe and take care